Erin. So yeah, we have our first um, Photoshop feedback. So the first thing I kind of do is I look under image size and make sure that it's the right size. Yeah, you've, it's unfortunately it's, you have it at, at four by five. It needs to be eight by ten, so that's really important to change because it will affect the sizes of everything else. So yeah, be sure to get that fixed before um, Friday. Super important to follow spec. Um, the same thing with the text. Um, I mean, this is fine for this week, but um, the client, and this is kind of like the way this project is designed, the client really wants the certain kind of text, so unfortunately, probably change it. Um, so the next thing I do is I, um, I usually turn the background off, and then I just look at the layer masks. Um, Oh, whoops, not that one, this one. Um, by the way, I really like the diagonal of the um, the background. We'll talk about that later. Um, so what I do is then I um, I really zoom in on them and just look at them. Um, so these are pretty pixelated. Yeah, don't distort, don't ever distort the images because it looks really unprofessional. Well, it's really kind of frowned upon. So I would, I would really go back and... Um, you know, I would just make it the size that it was, and then maybe it won't look as pixelated. Yeah, unfortunately, distorting images is just something that you really don't want to do. Um, even that's a little distorted, huh? Um, oh, let me zoom in. This is really a cool caricature, by the way. Um, oh, this is great. So yeah, it looks like there's, you know, you might have to do a little bit of cleanup in some areas, but I mean, that's normal. Um, I don't know what that black piece is. Oh, it's the um, the muffin. Um, so let's see what else. Looks like you saturated these two. You might want to take some of the saturation off on some stuff. Um, let me see. Just for now, because, um, yeah, huh. Oh, I see you made it um, darker. I mean, I would suggest um, sticking pretty basic with just the basic shapes first, um, then then kind of messing with the, the saturated stuff. Because next week we are going to be working really, you know, a lot on the background. I think this looks really cool. What I really like, too, is that, and what I would suggest is that you are kind of have this funny figure. So you could really use perspective to your advantage. Where's that other bacon? So for example, with this one, um, I would make it bigger because it's going to look closer then. You know, it's going to come forward if, it, if you make it bigger. Um, and what else I would do is I would move it on top of the tomato, potato. Let me see. I'm going to move this down. And where is it? Um, and then I would kind of put it on in the front, and then I would move this one over more. And, and why I say that is that then you can really work on kind of making some kind of interesting way, you know, way that it connects. And, you know, it, you know really subtle. An example is, is what um, this guy did by cr creating this little bit of shading right here. Oh, well, he created kind of a little object, and it really, you know, where the things connect is really important because um, the eye really goes there. So... Um, that's an idea too. Um, and again, you're, you're already kind of moving stuff around, so I think you're totally on the right track with making this look really cool. Um, I'm just trying to rotate it a little bit to see what else. I mean, you can do so many different things. You know, you could even flip the bacon so it's going, um, you know, the other direction if you wanted to. Um, you know, there's just a lot of different, um, transform... Okay, I think it's vertical. Mm, nope. Try it one more time here. Um, Photoshop is just being terrible lately for me. I'm not kidding. Because then you have it this way, and then you can rotate it. Um, you know, then you just have a little bit more variety. And again, you know, we have several weeks to, to hone this. I mean, I try to give as many suggestions at first, 
um, just so students kind of know where we're going and, you know, what direction we're going in. in. Um, another thing to think about, too, is um, thinking of um, the font. So I recommend going to dafont.com and just trying trying to find a font that, that really kind of suits the purpose. You know, you can look at the groovy ones. Um, just make sure you get something that's um, legible. 22 pages of these, that's kind of a lot, huh? Um, so, you know, decorative sometimes is too much. Yeah, most of these are really not legible. You can look at handwritten even. You can look at all of these, but just get one that, that definitely is, is legible. Um, legibility is more important than aesthetics, too. So, um, oh, those are horrible. Um, these are usually pretty bad, too. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but so... And let's look at the background really quick because that is required for next week. Um, so the issues with the background so far are that it's a little bit too strong for the caricature. I'm going to turn, where's that text? Um, okay, um, yeah, I turned off the text just so I can... Look at it. I put your other layers in a group. Um, I'm just wondering what it would look like bigger. Um, because this assignment really is more about the caricature than about the background or the text. So you want to really make it strong. So there's ways you can do that too, even though we're going to discuss this more next week. I love this caricature though. God, I want to see it. I don't know. I would turn the burner on or I'd put it on a fire stove and not have the pan. That could be a really funny background because I do think it's a little bit complicated. I mean, you can see what a levels will do to make the background darker. Um, I don't really like it, but um, but you, you see what I'm saying. It either needs to be darker or lighter, and that's going to just blow it out. So, um, Yeah, that's doesn't not too great. So anyway, what I would suggest is just looking for, um, you know, just looking for another background. Um, you know, you can do a search for like, you know, gas stove or something. Yeah, I think I have to do, but something like this, um, even though you can't use it, it's too small and it's also got a watermark. But if you think of something like, um, not that one, not the ones that are really close up, but, um, and I could do a better keyword search too, and it's not going to, it's going to, um, you know, but something with a, with burners, not really complicated like this, I think would look kind of cool because it would, it, you know, it would really make the caricature look like he's like flipping and jumping off of there. Um, you know, so keyword, gust, um, flames, um, and you might be able to find a simpler one, but again, be sure to make, um, you know, be sure to use the, the settings and make sure it's big enough because the background um, is really a big one. Because if it's not, you know, it, it'll look horrible if it's pixelated. Um, so that's just a suggestion. Um, you could just photograph something um, as well, but the idea is to really just make sure that... Um, that the caricature stand stands out. There's a little bit of complicated stuff. You could also blur the background. I mean, that's, you know, that's also, and there's, there's all this new blur gallery too. So um, you might want to have a look at it. I haven't really, it's kind of new, so I haven't really, you know, I haven't looked at it. There's a lot of blur stuff in here. Um, so I kind of end up just doing the, um, the standard blur, Gaussian blur. Um, but again, you can, you can preview it. So Blurring um, blurring ma makes the caricature stand out more, too, because the background isn't so sharp. So that's another kind of thing to think about. Um, okay, anyway, I'm going on and on. Sorry about that. But I, I think it's important to get good feedback in the first couple of weeks with, um, you know, with getting your caricature, um, you know, together. And, um, you know, and this has got great personality. And I don't know. I mean, I wonder if. Yeah, I don't know. They don't. No, I don't think you need to get. I don't think you need to get a new new image. I would just not distort them. That's all. Because I think that one distortion. That's what, what was making it kind of look all pixelated. Um, okay, so great. Keep up the good work. It looks really great. Um, you know, really, there's no there's no point deductions for this week at all. Because because you. I mean, we're not even doing the background. But um, just yeah. Um, 
And if you want more feedback, grab me on Hangouts or, or you know, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm here to, to help. So just, yeah, just grab me. I think that looks really great. You know, you could even get a pancake for that or something. Anyway, um, I get hungry when I look at this. So anyway, have a um, nice weekend.